Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of what's looking like even more sunny Delray Beach, Florida. I think it's time to go hit the beach. But before we do that, let's give you your 2 p.m. update. All the U.S. indices trading the downside. Dow's off 22, S&P's off 5, NASDAQ 100's down 10, Russell's off 7, Semi's down 3, so that's basically not much going on there. Trainings are off 68, Gold's trading out at 1742, that's up 3 bucks. Formed a TD9 count pattern a couple of days ago, that bottom should hold. Silver, the same pattern out there, it's up 6 pennies. Lightspeed crew, crew that formed a uh, Gartley buy pattern uh, a couple of days ago that's trading out at 104.57 it's up a buck 80 natural gas is back 22 pennies the 30-year treasury which formed a gartley sell pattern is trading lower it's off by one point in 17 30 seconds 136.28 is the print let's go spend a little time take a look at our cash industry charts out here see what they're communicating to you and i and in the upper left hand corner we're going to start by taking a look at the dow here's what we know about the dow uh, it is uh, trading above its oscillator and change line. It has a uh, daily buy the D point pattern. It has a weekly Rhodesman to indicator bottom. This should take price at least to the high from June 28th out there. If it takes out that swing point, which is up at 31,885 uh, bubble, we will form an A to B equals C D to the upside. If we take a look at the S, I suspect that's what's going to happen. The S and P 500 needs to close above uh, its high of 3945.86. Doesn't have to do it today, but a close above that will generate an a to B equals CD pattern and take us higher. The NDX 100, it just needs to close above the June 27th high. That high out there is 12.175. We're trading out at 12.088. To close above that, you've got an A to B equals CD to the upside. The Russell 2000, it's taking on its swing point from June the 28th. That high that it needs to be able to get above is at 17.9260. The semiconductors yesterday generated the buy the D point pattern. Did that when it gapped up to the upside out there. You got a TD9 count on the Dow Transports, NASDAQ Composite, has a Rhodes Mentum Indicator bottom. TD9 count on the New York Stock Exchange. These are all the daily time frames. Each and every one of these have a bottom panel, bot bottom pattern out there. Anticipate, expect a rally that lasts at least through next week, most likely through the week after that. So, folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you at 1 o'clock sharp on Monday. Be safe out there. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you then.